King Porus of Porava was an important ruler in the Indian subcontinent during the 4th century BCE. Porus fiercely battled Alexander the Great, and not only survived that battle, but made an honorable peace with him and gained an even larger rule in Punjab in what is today Pakistan. Curiously, his story is written in numerous Greek sources, but barely mentioned in Indian sources, a fact which leads some historians to wonder about the peaceful ending. Porus was one of the last members of the dynasty of Puru, a clan known both in India and Iran and said to have originated from Central Asia. Porus ruled over the land between the Hyderspis and the Asazines rivers in the Punjab region and he first appears in Greek sources in connection with Alexander. The Persian Achaemenid ruler Darius defending himself against Alexander after his third disastrous loss at Gogomala and Arbella in 330 BCE. Battle of the Hydaspes River In June 326 BCE, Alexander decided to leave Bactria and cross the Jilam River into Porus' realm. Several of Porus's rivals joined Alexander in his imperial move into the continent. But Alexander was held up at river's edge, because it was the rainy season and the river was swollen and turbulent. It didn't stop him for long. Word reached Porus that Alexander had found a place to cross. He sent his son to investigate, but the son and his 2,000 men and 120 chariots were destroyed. Porus went to meet Alexander himself, bringing 50,000 men, 3,000 cavalrys, 1,000 chariots, and 130 war elephants against Alexander's 31,000. Monsoons proved more of an obstacle to the Indian bowmen than to the Macedonians who crossed the swollen Hydaspis on pontoons. Alexander's troops gained the upper hand, even the Indian elephants were said to have stampeded their own troops. According to the Greek reports, the wounded but unbowed King Porus surrendered to Alexander, who made him a satrap with control over his own kingdom. Alexander continued to advance into India, gaining regions controlled by 15 of Porus's rivals and 5,000 sizable cities and villages. Porus's troops helped Alexander crush the Kathiwa, and Porus was given control over much of the area to the east of his old kingdom. Alexander's advance stopped at the kingdom of Magadha, and he left the subcontinent, leaving Porus as the head of the satrapy in Punjab as far east as the Bees and Satlia rivers. Porus and his rival Chandragupta led a revolt against the remnants of Greek rule, and Porus himself was assassinated between 321 and 315 BCE. Indian scholars such as Buddha Prakash have wondered if the story of Porus's loss and surrender might have been a more equal decision than the Greek sources would have us believe. During the battle against Porus, Alexander's men encountered poison on the tusks of the elephants. Porus himself was said to have been killed by physical contact with the poisoned girl.